Hello, welcome. Our job here is to figure out if this is a true or false statement. So, um, I know the laws of logarithms tell me that uh, the there are two things I'm going to work with here, that the log of x over y equals the log of x minus the log of y. And I also know that the log of a to the c power equals c times the log of a, or as I like to call it, the clog law, right? We can apply those two laws to see how this statement is unfolding. And then we can also plug in values of a and b to also see if this makes sense. So the first thing is I'm going to start over here. And I'm going to use this law. It tells me that this is equal to the log base 5 of a minus the log base 5 of b squared. But then I can use this law here to reduce my second term. So the first one stays as a log base 5 of a. And then the second one, I bring this exponent down in the front. And I get twice the log base 5 of b, which is exactly what they have up here, so yes, it's, this is true. Now, if you're not convinced that way, you can also plug numbers in to see if this is working. I would pick powers of five, since we're dealing with a base of five, and it would look something like this. So let me clear off the bottom here. So if I was to try and figure it out using an example, see, all right, does this make a little bit of sense? I would do the log base five of, let's say, 125. Right, that's 5 times 5 times 5 um, over, b, let's say, b squared. Let's, let's say that b is 5, so it would be 5 squared. They're saying that this should equal the log base 5 of 125 minus twice the log base 5 of 5. Okay, well, let's look at the left-hand side first. We have 125 essentially divided by 25, and that's 5. So it's the log base 5 of 5. And on the right-hand side, we have the log base 5 of 125. That's 3, because 5 to what power is 125? It's 5 to the third. Minus twice the log base 5 of 5, which is 1, because 5 to the first is 1. And we have on the right side of the equation here, 3 minus 2, which is, of course, 1, and then log base 5 of 5, which is 1 as well, because 5 to the first is itself, and so 1 equals 1. You can see if this does balance. And yeah, that's just one example, so it's not going to prove it for every example, but it gives you a sense of, of the truthiness of this problem. All right, hope that helped.